going to work on the pull now. In terms of laying the drill out for the, for the coach and for the player, I've put down a target thrower for the zone, uh, for the thrower here. So the, this is the line of the ball here. I've used a second set of stumps. So the, the thrower knows exactly what line, he's setting up what line he's going to throw. It's the simplest stroke for all young players to learn. It's a very natural stroke. Most young cricketers pick the batter pretty cross back to start off with. So it's a very powerful stroke in terms of being able to open up the leg side as well. So I've set up the, the throwing zone there. I've set up the angle for the, for the thrower and for the batter. Now I'm going to put two cones down on the leg side, which is going to be the goal for the batter to hit into. I'm going to throw from where the ball would bounce in a game. So this is back of a length, this is short, this is the length for the, for the batter to be able to pull from. So I'm going to throw from here, so the ball is coming exactly the same trajectory as it would in the game. And I'm going to lay out my target zone, and my target zone is going to be between mid-wicket. And in front of the square. It's a big area. But I want, I want the batter to, to be able to do this goal. He's going to have to get his hands up in a, into a good position early on. And we went through that when we did our bat swing. And I want the hands high, so it's hitting down on the ball. And the error for many young players is their hands are low. And then when they go to pull that underneath the ball, and they get caught either at mid-wicket or at deep mid-wicket into the game. So we want to begin by grooving the stroke from a high hand position, weight forward, and hitting the ball down through mid-wicket.